This is Steve with American Iron Works. Today we're going to be testing our 2 inch R13 hose. This is a 5000 psi working pressure, 2 inch. Very common hose in the oil field. We're going to be testing our CC 7 16 cable choker. A lot of times you'll see a, a whip check in the field like this type here where your sleeve slides over at spring in the center. This simply loops over the hose uh, to where our cable choker has a nylon insert in this area right here that chokes in on the hose. Works very well with some of the new high strength hoses. A lot of the new hoses will have a, a Kevlar type material in them and the walls are getting thinner and it makes it harder to hang on to during a failure. With the cable choker, this cable choker continues to squeeze in, works, works very well. But We have a helper here today in case the cable choker fails and uh, we'll shoot the uh, we'll shoot the whip check also pulled in right here. The sleeve allowed the cable to pull all the way into here. Pulled all the way down to the core of this R13. Now that we've seen how the 7 16 cable choker performed, it held the R13 2 inch hose at 3000 psi in a nitrogen two different times. Now we're going to test our whip check, our WC3. The whip check again is only rated for 200 psi, but a lot of people out there are using it for your, five, for your R13 hoses and it's not adequate so we're just going to do a we're going to do a simulated hose failure here and see how the whip check performs we're going to have fred standing over here in case things go wrong he'll be able to let us know some of the repercussions of it and again the 716 cable choker here did an extremely well job well done job it, it pulled in on the hose gripped it nicely Let's just see how the how the whip check will perform for us. 